Hello coffee farmers, welcome back to Gedua's farm. In today's video, just like you can see, our young coffee has uh, some white spots. We're going to talk about one of the most important tasks for young coffee, and that is praying. Whether you're protecting from pest or feeding your plants, proper spraying can make a big difference in your harvest. And that is why we want to look at how to spray properly, what you're supposed to spray, at what age, and at what age are you supposed to start spraying your coffee. We start uh, spraying young coffee plants about two to three months after transplanting. Because at this stage, they are vulnerable to pests, diseases, and also nutrient deficiency. In this video, we're going to talk about two main types of uh, sprays for young coffee. That is foliar fertilizers to boost leaf and root growth. And also pesticides to prevent common threats like aphids, leaf rust and leaf uh, miners. Just like you can see that coffee plant, it looks deficient of something. So here now, our farm manager is mixing up uh, copper, just like you can see. And according to the size of your land, the copper that you're going to buy, the packet is going to give you instructions. If you have a certain number of coffee plants, that this is the amount that you're supposed uh, to mix. For our case, uh, because we have uh, like, uh, like a thousand coffee plants, we've used a hundred grams of copper. And now we have uh, added water to mix it thoroughly before we add it to the sprayer. We are going to add copper just like you can see in our sprayer that is copper and I will be explaining the reasons and to why it is important to spray copper to your young coffee plants. Then after adding that copper we are going now to add foliar fertilizer. We are going to mix it. You can see him uh, cleaning up that, uh, that kajak that he is using to to measure then that is now foliar vegetative we are adding it again 100 grams according to the size of your land or even the number of your coffee plants so you put 100 grams then you mix it thoroughly with water you can see he's trying to show that it is 100 grams uh, but my camera failed us yes so now he wants to mix it like you can see he's mixing it with water to make it you know soluble enough because these are uh, these are vegetative foliar or a soluble fertilizer so again you mix it thoroughly in that jug you make sure that it has mixed well and the reason and to why i'm not showing the labels of uh, these uh, things that we are using it's because of the of the company names but if you want advice of the best vegetative foliar the best copper to use then again we are here again if you remember we added copper there now we are adding vegetative foliar again in the same sprayer then after adding the vegetative uh, foliar we are going to put water uh, the reason and why we measured 100 grams and 100 grams it's because we are going to add water that fills in at uh, this prayer and uh, we are also going to ensure that we mix uh, the foliar in the in the copper that is foliar vegetative and copper thoroughly because we want to get the best when we are spraying our young coffee plants so we are adding water again in our farm we have a, a tap where we we get water so you can see we are adding water to that then we are also going to add pesticides and for pesticides we only put 50 grams reasons being we want it to uh, we want to mix it with the, the copper and the folie again in the same sprayer so that we can fight the aphids the leaf last and the leaf minor so you, that is it we have added it so now it is mixing up you can see him cleaning the tools of work 
so that you can mix using that thing uh, so well to make sure that you get a soluble mixture and a well mixed up uh, uh, a well mixed up you know uh, uh, liquid so he is mixing it remember we have added copper we have also added foliar vegetative and we have also added pesticides and I've given the right measurements but I've also said that according to the size of your farm you will be guided by the company on that paper so you may be asking why copper at this young age of the coffee why foliar vegetative and also why uh, pesticides so let me give you reasons why we are adding copper or the importance of copper you can see he has closed it yeah it is now mixed up thoroughly he has uh, closed the sprayer he wants to now start uh, spraying the farm and uh, as he is spraying the farm you can observe and see that there is no wind the right time to spray is when there is no wind and also when it's not about to rain because when it rains it can wash away the spray that you've sprayed and also the wind can uh, carry away your spray and it will not be of any use to uh, to your young coffee plants so now we want to see how he's spraying uh, again our land has a lot of weeds we are planning to to put uh, a weed sprayer that will finish these weeds because we have tried approaching them and we are not able so let's see how he is spraying so copper helps in uh, fungal disease control and also bacterial protection and also copper acts preventively meaning it protects the plant before infection happens and also copper has a long lasting effect because it will stick well to the plant surface and provide protection for several days even in a light rain so why vegetative so it is uh, vital to spray vegetative foliar on uh, the early development of young coffee plants because they enhance growth boost resistance and also improve nutrient uptake during a stage when the plant is most vulnerable and establishing itself for long-term uh, prod uh, productivity so that is him spraying you can see we are spraying from up and from the down because we want to ensure that the leaves both the the upward side and uh, the below side they get the spray uh, so well so that is us spraying our farm our coffee is now like uh, six months old and uh, you can see it's doing well it's growing even well and uh, it's because of these reasons that we are giving you here so that is it in our video today and with regular care and responsible spraying your young coffee plants will grow strong and productive and uh, farming smart uh, sorry farming smart today ensures a great harvest tomorrow so keep in touch in our channel, Gidua's Farm. We will keep educating you on what to do in your farm and uh, the correct measures to take on your young coffee plants until we get there to harvesting and uh, harvesting uh, well. If you like our videos, like, share, comment, and also subscribe uh, to help us grow to help this channel grow so that we can be able to continue bringing you uh, educative content about coffee farming yes so this is a recap video on what else we did in the farm after spraying uh, if you look keenly you will see that uh, the coffee plants have uh, have some spots have some white spots and that shows that we have sprayed our coffee yes 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 you can see him approaching uh, the weed and one of the weed is cassava unfortunately but we cannot leave it there because weeds compete with the uh, young coffees and they can make them not grow well 
So I've told you that in our farm the main challenge, and it is because it has rained, it is also because that this farm was um, was a forest actually when we took it. So now that we have made the soil fertile, a lot of weeds are growing, and that is the main challenge that we have in our farm. But we are dealing with it. Next week probably we shall show you what we did to the coffee, like you can see that coffee there. A lot of weeds have grown there and the coffee seems to be doing so well but we go up protein just around uh, the coffee plant you can see how that coffee plant is healthy and it is because of these measures that we're giving you so just continue working with us with us farm we shall continue educating you we shall continue updating you on every step of the way so that when this farm becomes a mega farm and a farm with the uh, producing great harvest you shall still be here and you shall see that we worked with you every step of the way so uh, again i would also like to remind you that it is not a must you have a land for you to do coffee farming because for us we do not own a farm we have just leased this farm for many years good years to make the coffee grow uh, give us profit and also enable us to uh, to return the money that we used to to lease the land so don't sit there and say that you do not have a land you can just identify an idle land in your area and just approach the family and tell them that you want to make the farm uh, productive so that is it in our today's video you can see how our coffee plants are very very healthy yeah, the hay is still there. We told you when to put the hay and why to put the hay. The weeds have really affected us. Uh, but we are trying. We are trying. And uh, just appreciate uh, our work by liking, sharing, subscribing, and even watching. And even sharing with your friends to show them what young coffee farmers are doing. Because farming is the way, and uh, if we can all young people go back to farming, then this thing of uh, there is no jobs in our country will uh, cease. So let's go back to the rural, to the countryside, and do something to the idle lands that are there. Most of the lands, they belong to people whom their energy have been uh, depleted because of age. So we can help them put the land uh, to be productive again. So you can see the spray is there. You can see it very well. We've just sprayed the coffee. And uh, we have told you things to spray, things to use uh, to spray your coffee. It's even enjoyable just watching our coffee grow because we have seen it from the start. You can see how the weeds have really affected us, but we're going to deal with it. So, yeah, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yes, thank you for watching this video. We meet in the next video. I still remember that I owe you a video on how to plant young coffees. We've placed an order over the young coffees. And once they come, I'll give you a video on the proper way of, uh, of planting that are young coffee plants. Again, this is Gedua's farm. 